How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How good. are you? <laughs> yeah, great, thank you. Uh, what's your name, please? My name is Lily Mayola. I'm a singer-songwriter. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 27. And what makes you different from all the thousands of other people trying to get, you know, noticed at the moment? The song I'm going to do today is an original song that I wrote, and it's called Daydream. And it's kind of evolved over the past couple years, the meaning of it for me. Which is? I wrote it at a time in my life when things were really beautiful and I was essentially living my daydream. I had a major label record deal. I had a publishing deal. I had butterflies I was hatching. It was just, it was magical. It was just so beautiful. And I wanted other people to be able to feel that. And so that's where it originated. And then my life flipped upside down and my mom was diagnosed with cancer and I became her full-time caretaker. I lost my record deal during that, but I think maybe it was a bit of a blessing because it gave me some extra time to really be there for her. Well, is she okay? No, she passed away. I'm sorry, Lily. It's okay. <laughs> I really told myself I wasn't gonna cry. Um, right. um, she was my biggest cheerleader and Lily, uh, I, look, I have to ask you this. Um, are you okay to do this audition? I don't know how I'm gonna be able to make it through a song without crying. <laughs> but, you know, singing was something my mom and I really connected with. And it's how I fell in love with music in the first place, her playing music in the car. So I'm just trying to make her proud and continue to live my daydream. Good for you. Okay, well, best of luck. We're rooting for you, Lily. First of all, you have a, a, a beautiful voice. 
and uh, I could feel the emotion. And you know, you told us a story before you sang the song about this time in your life when things were perfect and you hatched butterflies, <laughs> you know? And this moment right now, you are that butterfly on the way. I think your mother was watching you tonight. And the way you were like feeling what you were doing, that what it was so special about your performance. And I really enjoyed that song. But you didn't, you didn't put anything out when you had a deal? No. You didn't? No. Okay, so you never really tested the no, waters, yeah. have you? Mm-mm. -mm. Okay. I haven't. Um, yeah, this is my first time putting music out, and I just went for it. There is something special about you. You know, everything you've been through, you told us about, you know, and I'm sure those memories came flooding back to you during that, that audition, and you're thinking, I've still got to get through the song. And I know you've gone through a very difficult period. But I think the fact that you've come back after what you've gone through, it says a lot about you, Lily, so good for you. to say I'm like speechless you know like sometimes you have someone on the stage and you hear their voice and just everything about you you just light up I see a light around you and I don't know I like immediately I fell in love with you and for this season season 17 I was like there's always a lot of singers on the stage and I was like I want to give someone else a shot but I can't help it because I really really like you so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna push this button buzzer for you She'd be so mad at me if I wasn't pursuing what I love. And Daydream was one of her favorite songs, so I think she'd be really happy. Wherever she might be. To catch me now. Hello, and what is your name? My name is Johnny Shelton. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, but now I'm living in Tampa. And what do you do? I'm a full-time singer-songwriter. Oh, really? Singer-songwriter? Yeah. So tonight you're going to be singing? Yeah, some original music for you. It's a song that I wrote for my son. You wrote a song for your son? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. I know, it means a lot to me. Like, I had lost him to cancer about a year and a half oh, ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Obviously, you've gone through a lot of turmoil. And I, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. This song's called That's Love. I'm on the cold old slinging rock Skipping on the stones But they wouldn't even up I bop It's all the stones that I skipped All the points of life that I've missed out on But one thing you can't take away is something that I'll always be there even on a rainy day That's a love I said, oh, yeah, that's a love Death can kill, would never dies. Love is always hidden in your eyes. People got money and they're satisfied. I got one thing that money couldn't buy. It's love. Well, I said, oh, yeah, that's love. Oh, oh. 
Well, eight pounds, six ounces, such a small thing. Doesn't even know it's got the whole world to see. You don't even know you've got a lot of air to breathe. You even got a lot more people to greet. But see the side of publicity and fame. You got one thing that'll put it all to shame. And that's love. I want you to scream it out loud, son. Scream it out loud to the whole crowd. So take the side from my eyes. Take back all the tears that I've cried. Leave me poor as a bum, but I will still be satisfied with love. Well, I said, oh, yeah, with love. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, that's love. You, uh, I'm speechless uh, when you told us your story and, and, and then you sing that song there is nothing more moving nothing that uh, tugged at my heart more than I no other song than what you sang the way you sang it coming from you having to deal with what you deal with so thank you, thank so you. Much. Heidi well, it, it made me very emotional. I am a mother of four children, so I can't even imagine um, how you feel. I want to thank you for sharing this with us, and I thought it was beautiful. Mel B. You really do have something special. You could actually hear a pin drop. Everyone was like hanging on your every word, and to be able to command an audience like that, there's something about you. There really is. Howard? Yeah, you're a real artist. There was nothing phony about that. That was real from the heart. And I felt not only are you a great songwriter, you have an exceptional sound and a way of phrasing a song. I, I was quite moved by it, and I find you an inspiration, so thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. You know, uh, you wrote that song is about love, undying love. And regardless of whether you pass from this world into the next, you know, we all have children here and you know no love stronger than a parent has for a child. And you're right, nothing could take that away. And I feel the energy of your child um, with, with you here and amongst us. And the love is spread throughout this panel and this whole room. And we would all love to say, Thank y'all so much. You're trying to break into another world, a world I never knew. I was kind of wondering if you ever made it. That was powerful, man. Seen a shooting star tonight. Whew, it's over. It makes me so sad. Yeah, it's a sad story. I mean, I had to like. My oh, that's a tough one. Very moving. Hi, what's your name? I'm Jed Napleby and I'm from Hobart, Tasmania. So, Jaden, what are you going to do for us today? Um, I'm going to be singing tonight. Do you, do you gig a lot? Uh... Um, this is actually my first time even singing into a mic, really. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So pre pretty nervous, pretty nervous. What are you singing for us today? All I Want by Codaline. Why that song? Um, I just feel some of the lyrics just really hit home. Like, I can relate to them a lot in what's happened in my life, so... What's happening in your life, Jaden? I don't know, just a lot of in and out of home, not feeling like I belong, and just things like that. We're behind you, they're behind you, and all of Australia is behind you. Thank you, thank you. Just sing with all your heart, babe. Nothing more 
to hear you knocking on my door Cause if I could see your face once more I could die a happy man, I'm sure See you brought out the best of me A part of me I've never seen You took my soul and wiped it clean Our love was made for movie scenes But if you love me Then why'd you leave me Take my to eat my body All I want is And all I need is To find somebody I'll find There's something to be said for um, just being yourself and being vulnerable. One of my favorite sayings is, um, if you feel like you don't fit into this world, it's because you were born to create a new one. Yeah, I like that. Mate, you kept your nerve down. I think you've done a great job for a first time here, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you heaps, thanks, it means a lot. You have such beautiful and unique voice and you have that raw passion is incredibly moving I was I was floored that was that was magic thank you guys heaps thank you Jaden some people sing songs at people and some people like you make people feel songs you know there's a huge difference don't you yeah and that's what's been music's been for me and why, why I love it, because it's brought me out of those dark places and look where I am now, like, I'm chilling here with you guys, like, it's awesome. Mate, you have a gift. It's, it's a yes, of course it's a yes, you're amazing. Thanks, thank you, thanks. I am thrilled to give you a yes. Thank you so much. Uh, for me to yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Manu. Keep holding on and keep going strong because you're coming back. You have four yeses. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Oh, oh his voice. In my head, I've been so stuck in my shell. And for me to get out there and do that just proves that I can do things and I don't have to sit at home all day, every day and be alone and be lonely and, yeah. Hi. 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 What's your name? I'm Christina Ray. Hi, Christina Ray. Where are you from? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I am a body sculptor. What, what do you mean? You make so, statues? I do laser lipo and I melt people's fat. <laughs> you don't need that. Oh, trust me. <laughs> and uh, who are you here with today? My son, Jeremiah. We just was that him. your was son? Yeah. Oh, no, he was just here. Come here, baby. Put him up. Oh, he's a sweetheart. 
What, what, why AGT? Why did you come to AGT? I need this to change my life. And as you can see, I'm a single mom, and I was living in my vehicle while pregnant. Wait, and wait, wait. Homeless? You're yes. living in your car? Oh, I was God. before I gave birth to my son. And um, this will change my life by putting us in a home, my own home, not just in family situations. And I want him to have his own room. Like, I want us to live in our own home, not a house. Yeah. <laughs> well, so do we. We want that for you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to be singing? Yes. I want you to think of this building. Yes, sir. Right now, in that stage, as your house. Yes. And we are your family. This is a lovely house. Isn't this great? <laughs> Entertain us. Oh, bye. bye. What? What? Start? Stop? I know, he likes I'm the gonna... stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Christina, can I hear your second song as well, please? Oh. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Good. Do you want some water before you start? I'm gonna let this adrenaline take me. Good, good answer. Christina, I want you to imagine that you've just done the concert and this is the encore moment. Okay.
boy. Wow. Sophia. It was fantastic. Heidi and I, we were getting goosebumps. I mean, I know it's not yet the time to vote, but I am going to vote now, yes. <laughs> you know, we handed you this house. Yes, you did. And you know what you did to this brand new house? You blew the roof off this house. Simon, Christina, there is only one way to describe your voice. It is insanely good. <laughs> Look, Thank you so much. There is absolutely no point making shows like this unless we find people like you. I agree. Thank you so much. Heidi, what do you think? I think you are absolutely out of this world. My heart is racing for you right now. It really is. Are you ready for this right now? I'm ready. Excited and obviously slightly nervous. Nothing oh. to be nervous about. And tell me who you are, please. We are the Missing People Choir, and that's made up of a number of people who have children and other loved ones who have been missing. In my case, my son's been missing since 1988. Oh, what? Oh, God, how do you live with that? Are you all in, this, in, in the same boat here? That all, all of the choir members are in a similar place? There's quite a few of the choir got missing family. Other members of the choir are either workers with the charity yep. or supporters of the charity. What a brilliant idea. <laughs> Good luck.
song and it must echo how many of you feel but I'm glad you've all got each other and I'm glad that you've turned such a dreadful thing into something so massively positive which hopefully will help other people who've got family members who are lost and I thought it was a really gorgeous audition and you did yourselves proud Just thank you very much so much admiration for you. You know, this is really serious stuff, and you sang that song beautifully. Honestly, I was so touched. I mean, I can't imagine how you got through it. It was so emotional for us watching it. It was, it was beautifully done, well done. Uh, look, guys, first of all, look, I, I have to pay you absolute respect for what you've just done. Because sometimes I think awareness is as, as important as anything else. So, it's incredible. OK, David. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. Alicia. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. What's your name? I'm Evie Claire. Evie Claire. How old are you? I'm 13. Okay, and where are you from, Evie? I'm from a really small town in Arizona called Florence. There's like five prisons there, and <laughs> yeah. And basically, there's not even a grocery store. There's a fast food place in a high school, and that's it. So, so what happens if you want to buy milk? We'd have to go like 30 minutes away. Just okay, <laughs> so there's a lot of prisons there. Yeah. Okay, so tell me what else. My dad works at the prison and... Well, he's got much choice. <laughs> What's the song you've decided to sing tonight? I'm going to sing Arms by Christina Perry. And tell me why you chose this song, Evie. When my dad is having rough days, then I go into his room and I sing him this song to help him feel better and just to give him comfort and strength to um, continue fighting. I get it. I get it.
There's so much meaning, a broken heart and tears and the cries of a beautiful little girl who loves her father, wants to be there. And I felt like America and everybody here at AGT wants to take our arms and wrap them around you and tell you, you are home. Wow, I mean, <clears throat> you are so special and your voice is so amazing and you're very, 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 very talented. So thank you for sharing that. I think you have a very beautiful voice and I can feel all of your feelings. That was really special. Thank you very much. I'm trying to put myself where your dad is and he must have thought I have one heck of a talented daughter. So because your voice is stunning. <laughs> and I think you're one of the ones I'm going to remember. You are Thank you so much. So we're going to vote now. Howie, I'm giving you your first yes. Thank you so much. I would love to see you again, so I'm going to give you your second yes. Thank you. Evie, you definitely deserve to be here, so I'm going to give you your third yes. Thank you so much. You've got four yeses. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Uh, are you the last auditionee tonight? I am the last one today. Okay. Been a long day, right? It has been a long day, but I'm ready. You know, but this is, if you ever watched X Factor before, it often goes, it's the end of a long day, and our last contestant is silently waiting in the wings. Yeah. And you know what happens then. Yeah, it either goes very good or very bad. <laughs> yeah, one of the two. <laughs> so tell me about you. Um, so I'm 21. I'm yep. from Billingham and Teesside. Yep. Um, I'm a car mechanic. Yep. And then obviously I sing a little bit as well. And you live on your own? Uh, I live with my mum. Okay. Just me and my mum. Cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. You say mum like me. <laughs> yeah, she's my rock, so. And what are you going to sing? Uh, I'm going to sing Jealous by Labyrinth. And tell me why you've chosen that song. Um, it means a lot to me for a different reason, I think, to how Labyrinth wrote it. Which is? Um, um, I lost my best friend a couple of years ago, um, and I kind of interpret the lyrics in a completely different way. Well, best of luck, Josh. Thank you. Come on, son. Come on. I'm jealous of the rain that falls upon my skin. It's closer than my hands have been. Oh, I'm jealous of the rain. Cause I wish you the best of
you're happy without you're happy without me Honestly. Wow. I was. That was the most captivated I've been in all the auditions so far. Thank you. I'm very emotional and you really touched me. I believed every word you sang. Um, I kind of want to hug you. I'll have a hug, I'll accept a hug. Josh, that really got me right in the heart. I was completely transfixed. Like, I, I didn't want it to end. Thank you, wow. Thank you so much. Josh, I'm gonna kick this off with a very emotional yes. <laughs> Also, you're getting a yes from me, Josh. Thank you. I think it was awesome. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. He yeah, has three yeses. Thank you very much. Thank you, Manchester, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. A bit nervous, but I'm great. I'm excited. <laughs> you excited? We're all excited. What's your name? My name is Wynn Starks. Where are you from, Wynn? I am from Minneapolis, Minnesota, but I live in Nashville, Tennessee currently. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, are you in Nashville because you want to be a singer? Well, yeah, I've been doing music my whole life, you know, I sang as a kid my mom played music through the house and sang you know and is this something you're now doing full time or do you do something else when yeah actually i got laid off my job due to covid so it kind of forced me into music full time and what were you doing before when i did hospitality so i worked at a hotel and you've decided to come on the show yeah okay well you've taken a big step here when yes i'm so excited to be here good for you Tell me what you're going to sing and, and why you chose the song, Win, please. Well, this song is actually an original song, and it's called Who I Am. And it talks about my journey, you know, and becoming Win Starks. And um, it was one of my brother's favorite songs. And I, I'm a twin, and recently actually lost my twin brother. So oh, it's been really hard. And... You know, he was one of my biggest supporters, so to be here means everything to me. And uh, I'm doing this for him. I'm sorry to hear that, by the way. We all are. Sorry. That's horrible, Win. I just want to do this and honor him, you know. All right. Yeah. Okay, we're rooting for you. 
Good luck. Sorry for your loss. I know what that means. I lost my brother too, and I cannot even imagine what it is to lose a twin because that bond has to be something unexplainable. I'm sorry for your loss. I love all the feeling that you gave to your song. I love your song, and I love that it was your song. It when <laughs> you have such a different voice, the tone of your voice is so different in this song. Simon, how can we make this a hit? This song is so good. I think definitely will do that. Also, your high notes, you were just so free, just belting it out. It was so good. You're good. You're good, Wayne. Thank you. We always say every year, don't we? We need the most in incredible people on this show. And now we've met you. And <laughs> honestly, you're brilliant, Win. And we all saw, for obvious reasons, how emotional you were. And then you took a beat, and then that song, it was extraordinary. It really was. And I think it was the perfect tribute to your brother, genuinely. Thank you, Tommy. And I think this could be a life-changing moment for you. I really hope that. <laughs> I think I know where this is going, but we have to do it. We're going to vote. Heidi. Win! It's a big set. Yes for me! Sophia. Yes! You know where this is going, Win. You got three yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> You know what? He had a real goodness about yeah. him. Yeah. You know, I'm all 
animals were watering. This was one of the best sessions I've ever done. I loved it. <laughs> He's uh, very tall. Hello. What's your name, please? Um, my name's Harry Gardner. How old are you? I'm 16. Where are you from, Harry? Um, I'm from Essex. OK. So, tell me why you've decided to enter this show. I just want to kind of share my music with other people and see if they can relate. OK. And, Harry, what are you going to sing for us today? Um, the song I'm going to sing is a song that I've written. Um, it's a song for my nan. Um, and it's a song called Not Alone. My nan, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's three years ago. Oh. Yeah, this song's a tribute for her. Has she heard this song before, Harry? Um, yeah, I did play it to her. Um, she wasn't really, like, aware of what was going on. She looked happy, which was just nice. OK, well, I can't wait to hear it. Good luck. Thank you very much. Open your eyes And tell me what you see Am I among the forgotten? Please say you remember me We know you're there Somewhere inside I say a prayer For you to smile Looks like the angels owe me one today But I stay strong, I know it won't be long Till I see the old days Open your eyes and say hello Open your mind and just let go Tell me to get the remote So we can watch your favourite show And ruffle my hair and say it's bad And tell me this chocolate in your handbag Tell me just how much I've grown And let me know I'm not alone and we understand the Good things don't last but I'd give anything just to hear you laugh Looks like the angels owe me one today But I stay strong, I know it won't be long Till we see the old days Open your eyes and say hello Open your mind and just let go Tell me to get the remote So we can watch your favourite show And ruffle my hair and say it's bad And tell me this chocolate in your handbag Tell me just how much I've grown And let me know I'm not alone And let me know I'm not Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. Amanda. Harry, that re it really moved me. I just wish your grandmother could see what you've done today because she I'm sure she'd be so proud of you. Thank you so much. I really think it takes real courage to put your heart and soul and vulnerability into a song the way that you just did. And it was a fantastic audition. Writing a song about something that means so much to you, you did it with such emotion and passion. It, w it was just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's quite rare that I could remember an audition a month or six months later. And this is one I'm going to remember because it was very genuine. It absolutely showed your talent as a songwriter. Yeah, I like you, Harry. I think people are going to get you. 
We're going to vote. David? I'm going to say yes. Alicia? Easiest yes of the day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's a yes from me, well done. Harry, guess what? Four yeses get ready for the next round. Thank you so much. <laughs> well done, boss. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, what are you doing to me, man? <laughs> huh? That really, really got me, that did. That, what a wonderful song. I would imagine that was your child. Your child had written a song like that about your parents. I know. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? I know. Hello. Nice to meet you. Use your mic. mic. Check one, two. Yeah, oh, there it is. OK. <laughs> OK, and what's your name, please? My name is Matt Mauser. Where are you from, Matt? I'm from Huntington Beach, California. <laughs> How are you? I'm 51. You look good. <laughs> Great. I appreciate it. Thank you. OK, Matt, so why AGT? What are you going to do today? I'm a singer. And I'm here because my wife and I, uh, we were both school teachers. And um, we retired from teaching so that I could do the music full time. And she got the opportunity to coach girls basketball with Kobe Bryant. Wow. But um, on... Uh, on January 26th of 2020, I lost my wife oh, no. in the same helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant. No. Wow, I'm so sorry. You know, if I had it my way, I would have my wife and I'd be supporting her. But that's, that's not what happened. You know, it's been a rough year, but um, here I am. Good for you. And you kids. Are they here? Yeah, they're right here. Hello. Oh, what a beautiful family. Okay. Well, I'm not going to ask anything else, Matt. All I can say is best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. I want him to be great. It's oh, unbelievable. Yeah. How can I just let you walk away? Let you leave without a chance When I stand here taking every breath For you mm -hmm. You're the only one who really knew me at all So take a look at me now There's just this empty space there's nothing left here to remind me Just a memory of your face Take a look at me now I'll still be standing here And you coming back to me Is against all odds And that's what I've got to face There's so much I need to say to you so many reasons why you're the only one who really knew me at all just take a look at me now cause there's just this empty space there's nothing left here to remind me just a memory of your face Take a look at me now Cause I'll still be standing here And you coming back to me Is against all odds 
And that's what I've got to face Take a look at me now felt your emotion and regardless of what anybody does on that stage if you're able to move strangers and move and we can feel it in our hearts and I'm not only speaking about everybody at this table but everybody at home that heard that I, I mean I don't there aren't words to describe it I don't know there was just a different kind of vibe in your voice and when you were singing it it definitely it went inside of me you know it was beautiful it was sad and as a man as a strong man standing there it I don't know it was very special it was very emotional very touching thank you thank you for being here thank you thank you Matt so let, let me ask you a question um, so what would you like to happen if you did well on this show I would like to uh... That's a good question. I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> I would like to make sure that my children see that in spite of the grief that we've been through this year and that that grief is not going to define who we are as a family and, and that my children see that you have to find joy in life and you have to continue. If this can any way help my children to chase their dreams, then I'll take it. If I knew, it would be the last well, you know something? Your wife is always here, and that is her legacy. You are her legacy. This moment is her legacy. And on behalf of your wife and everybody in America, I'd like to give you your first yes. Thank you. Heidi? This, I am 100% certain, the audience, along with me, want to give you your fourth yes. Welcome. Tell us who you are, please. My name is Zoe, and we are the Mzanti Youth Choir, all the way from Soweto, Johannesburg, in South Africa. Yes. Tell me about the choir. How did it start? Tell me everything. Well, it's a little bit of a sad story, but it has a great ending, of course. Okay. Exactly 20 years ago, our founders, Yanni and Marina Zyman, were carjacked. And to their surprise, it was done by young people. And then they saw this as an opportunity to change young lives. And then they started this choir. Wow. And why did you decide to enter America's Got Talent this year? Because America's Got Talent is the biggest talent competition in the world. <laughs> and it has the power to inspire and give hope to the people. Oh, thank you for saying that. Okay, we're ready, we're rooting for you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. to 
a very very special person from our AGT family her name is Jane her nickname was Nightbird and she sang the song so it has a very special meaning in my heart it was really beautiful thank you thank you thank you so much what a surprise to hear that song and your voices are fantastic that was the perfect AGT audition I'll always remember Nightbird. And to see that it touched people on the other side of the globe. Unbelievable. You deserve so much more than a yes and to be here. You deserve a thank you. Thank you so much. Can I ask why you decided to sing that song? When we heard Nightbird sing the song on this stage, we were very inspired and touched by her story that we decided to record the song. To our surprise, she responded so beautifully. This song has been such a pillar of strength for us as a choir through difficult times. We just want to continue her legacy, and that's why we chose the song. That was beautiful. This brought back so many memories for me. Gosh, it was, whoa. God, this is hard. Um, oh gosh, give me one second. I know how much this would have, would have meant to her. It would. Right until the end, she was so passionate about sharing her music and uh, this has gone all over the world. And you've come back here with the most amazing tribute. It was just breathtaking, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> I want to suggest something. We've never done this before, but we've always discussed one day giving the audience something. This is 
for you. This is for you. This is for Jane. Mark McMullen. I am 23 and I'm from Northern Ireland. I presume you're going to sing for us today? I am, yes. Okay, so what are you going to sing today? I'm going to sing Bring Him Home from Les Miserables. Oh, I love this song. And why did you choose that song? Bring Him Home is a very, very personal song to me and my family. About nearly six years ago, uh, my older brother took sick from a brain injury, and um, he's here today. But um, he, was, he was left with a condition called locked-in syndrome. Right. Which basically means he can't, he's trapped inside his own body, and the only thing he can really do is hear. So my music kind of became a big comfort for him. Oh, darling. <laughs> Why Britain's got talent now? It just seemed to be the right time. Everything in my life kind of lined up at this moment to bring me here. So uh, I just thought, what the hell, just go for it. So um, half of me is here today for me and yeah. to try and pursue my career in music. And the other half of me is here to kind of do them proud. And, uh, Good for you. OK, well, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. <clears throat> Bring him home. 
the most gorgeous tone and quality to your voice and I love your vibrato and when you listen to the words and you know the background of your story it just made so much sense and it was so much more poignant it was it was beautifully done well Thank done you very you're much. very talented boy wow I mean it was incredible because you're such a sort of softly spoken guy and <laughs> got this absolutely beautiful singing voice and you made us listen to every single word of that song. And I think you did your brother very proud today and you did yourself proud. For me, it was a very confident, self-assured performance. Um, it had a lot of meaning to it. I think it was a perfect, brilliant tribute to your brother. Well done, Mark. What is your brother's name? Declan. Declan, OK. Well, he's lucky to have a brother like you. You brought meaning to that song, which I hadn't thought about before. i tell you what I was really impressed with, Mark, is that you managed to combine a real tenderness with that song and then went into the strength on the second half of the performance. And I wouldn't be surprised, off the back of this, that you start getting calls from West End producers, possibly Broadway producers, because you're that good. I really like you. Thank you very much. Really good. It gives me pleasure to kick this off with a yes. Thank you very much. I'm going to say yes. It's a yes from me. Thank you. You have four big fat yeses. Congratulations. Hiya. Hello. What's your name? Jude Richards. Where are you from, hon? I'm from Faith. Heard of it? Tell me about it. What's it like there? Um, it depends what part you're in, but it's a bit um, a dive. <laughs> okay. So, how would this competition change your life? Well, it would obviously um, get me out of somewhere that I don't want to be. Most okay. people where I stay don't really do much at all. Mm -hmm. So, this would hopefully give me the boost. <laughs> Who's your biggest fan? My gran. Your gran. Tell me about her. Uh, my grand's quality, she's a really nice. Uh, she used to be a singer as well, so that's sort of where I got my influence for. Okay. Um, so I, she's influenced me in a big way. She just encourages me all the time, supports everything I do. Okay, go for it. Come on.
Before you started singing, if this audition goes the way I think it goes, it's going to be amazing because I had a dream. This is crazy. Y'all not going to believe me. I've been thinking about this song all weekend. And the fact that you came here and sat on that X and stood that song so beautifully. the X Factor, and then some. While you were singing, I felt like I heard your whole life story through your voice. I've never heard someone sing a song like they mean it so much. Thank you. That was absolutely fantastic. You have blown this whole place away. Where have you been hiding? Jay, that performance is gonna change your life. Jay Richards from Fife. You have, you have a God-given talent and you just make the whole show worthwhile. I'm so glad we came here. Because we're, we're doing this show, I'm doing this show eight years, and this is what it's all about, it's finding somebody that deserves a break, and you deserve a break because you've got talent. <laughs> now we're going to vote. Hun, it is a humongous, spectacular yes for me. Thank you so much. I absolutely say yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Jade, it's a massive yes from me. Well done. Jade Richards, we've got four yes. Thank you so much. She gave me chills. Hello. Hello. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Tell us your name. My name is Ben Waits. I am 32, and I am from Nashville, Tennessee, originally born in Louisiana. Ben, nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about you. I am a, a southern gospel singer and a vocal coach. OK. All right. And what will you be singing for us today? I will be singing True Colors. Why that song? The, the message of the song, I feel, is able to speak to people no matter their age, their race, their background. Um, it's able to communicate a message of hope. And did you bring anyone special with you today? My wife is here, my mom is here, and my grandmother is here. <laughs> you can say hi. And they're all standing in the wing? My wife is, is on the side, my, uh, my mom and grandmother in the audience. Hi, everyone. And uh, Ben, do the people you coach know you've auditioned? No. Oh. Why not? In that time with them, it's all about them. OK. But now, it is all about you. And we can't wait to hear you. Good luck. You will 
the sad eyes Ooh. Don't be discouraged Oh, I love you Oh, we both are fine It's hard to take courage In a world full of people You can lose sight of it all And the darkness inside you Makes you feel so small But I see your truth Gotta let them show your true colors are beautiful. Sophia does not cry. Yeah. This is incredible. I loved it because you know it's a beautiful song, but you made it yours and it was special. It was different. Thank you so much. I loved it too. You have a lot of talent. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. What did you think, Simon? I think it's so interesting, Ben, the fact that you are a vocal coach because you started really well and then there was a moment in the middle where I thought, you're kind of losing this. And I think you sensed that yourself because suddenly you went into another gear at the end. There's no such thing as a perfect audition. This is just a great audition. This is a moment. This is everything we want. Hello. 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 You okay? Nice to meet you all. So, what's the name? That's obviously a choir, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. We are B Positive Yay. Choir. Yep. That's my blood group. Who put the choir together? So this is put together by the NHS Blood and Transplant. Oh. Um, wow. The NHS Blood and Transplant wants to get the message, everybody give blood. That's what about <laughs> campaigning. Yeah. Well said. OK, good. I just want to know what, what binds all of you together. Um, we suffer from an illness called sickle cell, or we have loved ones that have sickle cell. So it is a very horrible illness, which is why we're here to spread the message that we do need blood to help us live normal lives. Got it. <laughs> All right, good luck, guys. Broken down and you're tired of living life on a merry go you can't find the fighter, but I've seen it you, so we're gonna walk it out and move mountains, gonna walk it out and move mountains, and I ride.
honest, authentic performances that we've had on the show. You're amazing. I found the whole thing really moving because blood donors saved my life and is the, they're the reason I'm still a mummy to two girls. It's amazing the message you've come here to spread today and it's very inspiring, so thank you. Yeah, I didn't think it was great. I thought it was amazing. That's a new one. That's a new one. What is it? And I didn't think it was great. It was amazing. That's new. It's a new one. And you know what was great? Halfway through, I'm thinking, yeah, these guys are good. And then we got to the second half, and that's when it soared. This is why I love doing this show for moments like this, I have to tell you, genuinely. Here it goes. <laughs> Let's start with David. It's a yes from me. I'm saying yes. It's a yes from me. Be positive. You have 4,300 yeses. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Very well, thank you. So what's your name and where are you from? I'm Fletcher Pillen and I'm from the Central Coast. So uh, I see that you obviously are going to be playing a song um, yeah, I'm going to play a song that I've written for my brother. Um, his name's Banjo and he passed away about three and a half months ago. I'm so sorry. The song's called Infinite Child and it's just about how I feel like he's always going to be with me, so... That he will. Take it away. I remember the days we used to skate in the street You were so happy in your bright red jeans And there's nothing you liked more than going faster than me You'd sleep on my floor almost every night For playing games we were never too tired there's nothing I like more than being right by your side So fly, fly, infinite child Live in happiness and keep that smile Fly, fly, infinite child I love you, bitch Fly, my infinite child you're always with me, you're always with me, you're always with me, you're always with me. Child, live in happiness and keep that smile. Fly, fly, infinite child. I love you, Panjo. Oh my God! Thank you. Wow. Look, there's uh, some amazing things going on here. Uh, music is what emotions sound like, and that's why it's such a, a powerful... It's not even a tool for the human race. It's a necessi necessity. I'm chucking up here. Um, what I do want to say is 
um, beyond the content of the story, um, you've got an incredible talent. Your voice, regardless of anything, it's got some wonderful, wonderful tones in it. And you've got a stillness and a, a, a presence, which is just incredible, young man. It really is. Thank you. Something Appreciate special. it. Amazing, unbelievable, and maybe uh, probably the best thing I've seen in years. That was an incredible performance. Thank you. Thank, Thank you to all of us. Thank you. You are so strong to do what you just did. I unbelievably strong. You're 14 years old, and you you have a fire and a courage that I I don't know if I'd be upright if I was you, mate. But you came and you brought it, and beyond the the, the song itself, which is a beautifully written song and a wonderful tribute, as everyone else has said, you're a genuine talent, and you're an incredibly impressive human being. I just want to thank you so much for having the bravery to do that today, man. Thank you. You really are incredible. Thank you. Appreciate it. Shall we vote? All the way yes from me. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you for sharing that, yes. Four yeses, mate. You're through to the next round. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello. Tell us who you are, your age, and where you're from, please. My name is Mitch Rossell. I'm 35. I'm from East Tennessee. I don't think I have to guess around too much, but you're going to sing some country music for us today. Yes or I'm, yes? Yeah, I'm going to sing some country music, yeah. Well, I want to ask a question. Um, what is your ultimate dream? The ultimate dream is just to reach my potential, for just hopefully to be opening on st or playing on stadiums or something. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Can we see your eyes? We can't see your eyes. There, oh, there we go. there you are. <laughs> Maybe move your hat back a little. Yeah, there you go. What song will you be singing for us? Uh, I'm going to sing an original song. Definitely the most personal thing I've ever written. All right. I can't wait to hear this. The stage is yours. Good luck. Thank you. Go and strum your guitar a little bit. All right. This is a true story about my life. Every other weekend was all I got to see. Sometimes he'd come get me and we'd hit till the cold creek. We'd take that boat and drop it, grab the rods and reels and hop in. He'd open up that tackle box and he'd open up to me. And he'd say, son, I hope you I'm always thinking of you You're the drive inside my heart The reason I reach for the stars above He said my world revolves around you That's why I call you son Well I was gonna go live with him But I guess God had two-lane road on a Tuesday night a drunk driver crossed that center line they said my dad didn't feel a thing well I wish I could say the same cause losing him it left me cold I was mad at God couldn't let it go and then one blue sky morning a brown eyed baby boy was born and I looked outside and it started pouring I swear they were daddy's tears My old man, I could almost see him And that little face with a new heart beating The pain in mine started leaving When I whispered in his ear Son, I hope you know how much I love you Now it all makes sense this place in life I've come to You fill the hole inside my heart You're why I'll reach for the stars above My world revolves around you That's why I 
What a beautiful song there. I feel like everyone in this room was feeling everything that you were singing. I just wish that I could talk to you again. The, the words and the, the emotion that you sing with, you know, as a father also, and I have three kids, and the world revolves around you. What a great sentiment. What great, beautiful words. So, such simple brilliance. I wrote for years and never wrote a song about it, and I uh, had a son of my own, and I think that really allowed me to finally write about it and bring it full circle. You know, I predict that tomorrow, when the people are watching this on TV tonight, I bet you that's number one downloaded country song. I bet That'd you be it is. nice. Real nice. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. That was spectacular. Your voice is amazing. The song was amazing. Thank you. I loved every part of that. I loved your voice. I loved the song. It was a compliment, the fact that you could hear a pin drop during the entire performance. And it was sincere. I really, really think people are going to connect with you. The song, this was a great audition. Brilliant. A million billion percent yes. Thank you. Sophia! Yes! Third yes from me! Four yeses, buddy! Awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're happy you are. What's your name? My name's Jane. When I sing, I go by Nightbird. Oh, that's nice. Nightbird? That's right. Uh, did you sing, do you sing for a living? Um, not, not recently. Where are you from? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Okay. How old are you? I'm 30. 30 years old. And the dream is to be a singer. What are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. It's Okay. Yeah. It is. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is It's Okay about? Uh, it's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. All right. And who are you here with? I'm here by myself. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Can, can I ask you a question? How are you now? Uh, last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. You got a beautiful smile and a beautiful glow, mm -hmm. and nobody would know. Thank you. It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. Nightbird. Change my mind. I thought that all my problems they would stay behind. I was a stick of dynamite and it just. 
It's funny because singers come on and, and, I, and I think about authenticity. You know, when you feel it, when it moves you, that felt like the most authentic thing I have heard this season. That was surprising to you. It was powerful, it was heartfelt, and I think you're amazing. You gave me chills. I mean, your voice is so beautiful to listen to. It was beautiful all the way around. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. There was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and, oh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Um, there are, however, there have been some great singers this year. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. the Freedom Singers. So why did you give yourself the title The Freedom Singers? It's interesting to me. Go ahead, Pete. Yeah, so we're located not far from here in a community called Skid Row, right? Skid Row is in the heart of downtown Los Angeles where five people per day die on the streets, houseless people. And so for us, Freedom Singing brings us close together. Is that medium that we've always used to come together as America. Wow. And how did you meet? 
Well, we all um, are part of the Los Angeles Community Action Network, and they have an arts and culture department there, and that's how the core group got together. Are you houseless in, in Skid Row? Not well? anymore, but I was. <laughs> Me and my mother, we were both houseless on Skid Row, which is, um, it was very traumatizing going through the loss and being out there in the elements and especially with the city officials coming and taking away all of our personal belongings and leaving us there with nothing. Um, I'm so blessed that I found the Los Angeles Community Action Network because they gave me a voice and an opportunity to rebuild myself. And through them, we are housed, my mother and I. Talent. So we represent a lot of things. Some people who were houseless, maybe who have come to transitional housing, some who have lost folks um, that are houseless. Excuse me. And, um, and so when we see someone on the street, I want to encourage you not to look the other way. Thank you for sharing all of that with us. We're rooting for you already. Good luck to y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. There we go. message. It was beautiful. It gave me goosebumps. It made me emotional. This was a great audition. Congratulations. Well done. Howie, what did you think? You know, the unhoused is much more than just an L.A. problem. It's a national problem, maybe even a world problem. And you have given it a voice, and you have given us a purpose, and yes. it's a message. This was more than just a song, more than an audition. It was needed. And thank you for informing, entertaining, and blowing the roof off this place. Oh, yeah. 
Sophia, what did you think? I loved it. It was amazing. I think you guys are gonna go very far in this competition because this is what AGT is all about. Simon, what did you think? I thought the performance was brilliant. It was raw, it was real. I love the vocals. I love your chemistry, your friendship. This was a really special audition. I loved it. All right. Let's vote. Howie. Oh, yes. I'm going to give you a second yes. Sophia. Three yeses. Simon. Four yeses. Cute. You're joking, it's my mum. You're joking. You got it. Who have we got here? Hello. Callie. Callie. Savannah. Savannah. And are you sisters? Yeah. And who have you brought with you today? Nanny. Nanny. So is she your mummy's mummy or your daddy's mummy? Daddy's mummy. Daddy's mummy. Okay, brilliant. And can I ask Savannah, how old are you? Three. Amazing. And <laughs> Callie, how old are you? Four. Oh. Cute. What are we here for? To surprise Dad. What, what's going on? Well, Nick doesn't know anything about it. And we're surprising him because we want him to come and sing because he sings a lovely song for the girls. Oh. Come along. I've just seen it. Unbelievable. Come on, Nick. Oh, wow. <laughs> you just thought you were having a lovely day out. I, I, I did. We had a whole day planned. Well, that's changed. Uh, yeah, this is complete shock to me. He said he'd never do it, so we had to do it for him. Why did you say you'd never do well, it? I, th I think over the years, uh, I've lost a lot of confidence in my singing. So, um, yeah, I, I tend to do it at home, in the shower. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, well, I'll tell oh, you what. God. Nick, I tell you what, why don't you go off, grab a glass of water, and then come back on? Would Thank that you. be a good idea? Thank you. Nick! Literally thought you'd run away. <laughs> I notice you've got your words down there, which is totally fine. Um, Do whatever it takes well, to get yeah. through it. It's a song that I felt quite attached to, uh, so I sing it quite a lot around the house. So hopefully I'll keep uh, the nerves and the, the crying away whilst I'm singing it. Bless uh, you. Yeah. Well, we are all rooting for you, aren't we? Thank you. Little girls, precious little angel, 
Dancing in the living room and drawing on the table Wearing mama's pearls Putting on her makeup Even though I know these moments they won't last forever And to me You'll always be Daddy's little girls Someday you'll be dressed in white all gracious with butterflies But in my mind I'll let you go In my heart you know you'll always stay But until then I cherished every kiss goodnight And every door you slam and every little fight I'll be there for you even when I'm gone you are just listen to this song Like nothing's changed at all You still daddy's little girls Precious little angels Dancing in the living room and Drawing on the table Wearing mama's pearls Putting on her makeup Even though I know these moments They won't last forever to me, you'll always be, yeah, to me, you'll always be, you're still daddy's little girl. I'm fine. <laughs> it was so sweet. You got a nice voice. You have a, such a beautiful voice. It's just, it was a really, really lovely surprise. What did you think, David? Well, it was just so moving from start to finish, and you know, just. It just looked like you were going to burst into tears on every word, actually, but <laughs> yeah, I felt like yeah. there's not a dry eye in the house, and that really hit me emotionally more than anything else today. Well, it was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> me and Alicia are in bits. We have to vote. I'm going to say yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Well, I think you've got 4,004 yeses. I get to love you. I get to love you. Oh, well done, Nick. I get to love you. I get to Thank you. Love you. OK, could you ask the guy with the glasses to go and stand at the corner? We can't use it. OK, him. sure, you're in the corner. I can't use you. Put him in the corner, in the corner, back-facing. I'm serious. All right, just stand in the corner. The guy with the blue shirt, same thing, we can't use you. Take that corner, sir. Start screaming at them. Can you all face the wall? Face the wall. Everybody, face the wall. Don't turn around. Welcome. <laughs> it was all here. <laughs> face the wall. The VIP experience is something you can buy when you purchase your ticket. You don't have to be some super important person. Would you like to speak to the manager? Um, excuse me, what's been the problem? Manager, boss, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, it was him that was saying it. You almost got me killed. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think of Simon Cowell? Do you think um, he's handsome? By the way, excuse me, you're fired. Get out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on? OK, Darcy, check your mirrors Checking. before any movement. 
I can't see myself anymore. Safety first. There's a lot of dummies on the road. And the biggest one is talking into a megaphone. Take your foot off the brake and start moving toward the course. Take moving. your foot off the... Stop, stop, stop. Oh, sorry, little stop. Simon. Back up. I want you to start from the top forwards. Forward, slow, forward, stop. Back up. Uh, forward. Uh, you just pulled back. me back. OK, stop. You are going now the average speed during rush hour on an LA freeway. So without moving, I want you to sit here now for two and a half hours. This is pretty realistic. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Pants! The sacks are coming off tonight. <laughs> now, something we may not know is that Simon is a vegan, which is weird because he's got beef with everybody. <laughs> and sure, he can be a little intimidating, but folks, he's just like the rest of us, all right? He puts his pants on, well, actually, his assistant puts his pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> that wasn't Simon's cup of tea, and that's okay. As a pair of pants, I spend a lot of time around old farts. <laughs> but Simon, you've been a fantastic sport. Please give it up for Simon, everybody. What word do you think he's thinking of, and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. OK. This is a mind-reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Shoes! Earring and shoes. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nightwish! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> This is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? Have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> We didn't plan that. We got this, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no, I said, no, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at la, is la, that la, you weren't on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, la, you guys la, are so la, fucking la. good. Yo, Terry. Howie. I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Who's funnier? Oh. Nobody. Makeup. I want to need some makeup. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Julian? Oh, there you are. I'm <laughs> Julianne. Hi, Hi. Hi. You I'm tonight. so excited to be here. Oh I'm so gosh. excited. I'm such a fan. Hey, preacher. Hey. How you doing? Doing amazing. Well, I just cannot wait to perform with you tonight. Me neither. All right. See you there. All right. It's going to be great. Preacher, do you need a minute? I studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage. She will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. 
<laughs> You'd be like, you know what, I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm going to say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times. Let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Four. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, you should have got more. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Zoe, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet... You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. It's, oh, uh, it's oh. between the white T-shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And or the bell-bottom pants. The white T-shirt. The white Simon... Everything! <laughs> Oh, that is get everything. It. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Who do you think has got a tattoo of you on them? Obviously, David. You're going to say, David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David, it is. This is the thing. Let's see the tattoo. 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 You know what? I'm not paid enough money to deal with that. Seriously, I tell you something. I actually feel sick. But what That's I... weird. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to... Do you want to... Do you want to... Do you want to... Thank you. It's a weirdo. Of course. I didn't like I it. I did it for you. <laughs> what is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Okay. <laughs> I like, you, I like your baby. Uh, you, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like... It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, yes. No, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see... David. Inside... His... House. Oh! He's never invited... These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see his... <laughs> How would Simon rank his fellow judges in a number of different categories? Gay and gay! Right, so first up, don't say what it is. Have a little look there. Sorry, I'm just distracted. <laughs> I know, right? That's the first one, OK? Don't say it out loud. Who's going number one, two or three? Um, Hang on, uh, what is it Alicia for? three. Where's Amanda Brian? Amanda two, four. David number one. Right, David's number one. But what is he number one for? Let's have a little look. It is for... Biggest Steva! Biggest Steva! Thank you. How are you feeling about that, David? You feeling happy about that? What a treat. Right, here's your next one. Oh, OK. Um, David number three, please. David number three. OK. Who's going number one? And the two girls go to number one, please. Two girls to number one. And David's in last position on this one. And the subject topic was... Who do you like the most? <laughs> oh, no. No. It's like What are the three things that you love about yourself? Um... Humility, uh, yes, uh, charm, humble good looks, humility, generous, uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch, um, great to go on holiday with, um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> And you got animals as well? We're not going there. <laughs> David. Simon is head judge, but out of the three of you, who would you say is his deputy? Out of the three, who's the deputy judge? 
Cheers, mate. <laughs> right, Simon, do you have your answer ready? Yeah, I do. Good stuff. OK, Amanda first. Oh, you're going for yourself. Yes. Alicia, you're going for yourself as well. <laughs> there we go. David's just finished. He's gone for Amanda because... Oh, David. <laughs> oh, my God, you can't write that. <laughs> You've actually crossed the line. <laughs> Good. Christopher's upstairs. David, who... <laughs> Simon, who's the... Who really are? You really are a smutty little man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favourite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favourite and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Who? In America? In America, right. yeah. You start... don't mean that disrespectfully. No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's thick as pig shit. <laughs> now, now, he, now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. <laughs> exactly. See, as I said, he'll be out of control now. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> what is the best thing about being Simon Cowell? Oh, 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 the best thing about being you. Well, as Cat, right? Is yeah, cat? hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought, hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job, which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and that's... you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the <laughs> David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far. But don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's, that's a great well, question. That's a question for you. What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, is not he? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, it is, it is magic. He, it is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time you walk <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. That's, you, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs>